Hi, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explore the Kubernetes deployment and rollback strategy. Whether you are new to Kubernetes or already have some experience, this guide will help you understand how to effectively deploy and roll back application in Kubernetes cluster. So let's drive in. Kubernetes deployment. A Kubernetes deployment a declarative configuration that defines how two applications should be deployed and managed. Deployment allow you to de define the desired state of the application and let Kubernetes handle the actual deployment process. Key component of deployment includes port, replica set and levels. These three things are important in deployment. Let's understand in this flowchart what is deployment. Deployment is a high-level object above the, this replica set. Deployment is a control this replica sets and under this replica sets we have three ports, right? Let's understand the rollback strategies. Rollback are essential when issue occur during a deployment or when a new service does not meet ex expectation. Kubernetes provides a built-in rollback function to revert to a previous known working stage. Let's understand actually what happened in the rollback. In the top level uh, object is the deployment. Uh, under this deployment, uh, uh, we will, uh, under this deployment, we have the our replica set. Means uh, let it be a uh, version one, right? We are deploying the replica set uh, version one and uh, do some modification in our uh, manifest file and again apply the manifest file then again it's create a new replica set let it be a version 2 and uh, and we again modify our manifest file and uh, apply the manifest file and uh, create a new replica set let it be version 3 Suppose in case the version 3 have some uh, issue and uh, we want to uh, go to our previous version. This thing will be provided by the rollback. We can easily roll back to our this version means we have in 3 we can go back to the let's do the demo. Now I am in my kubectl server. So let's understand our manifest file for deployment. Here I have used kind is deployment. We are using we are using the object is deployment and the uh, uh, API version is app app v1. The metadata of this object is PC deployment and uh, the uh, replicas is two here and you and I have used uh, this selector uh, the the match label the match label is PC Ubuntu. It should be same as this template label. Otherwise, it will not work. And this template section, uh, we have uh, the metadata is the power cloud and the level uh, which is a uh, master level. Uh, this is the PC Ubuntu. The specification is the we are going to run a uh, Ubuntu container and, and inside this container we will run a command like power cloud. Let's copy this and create a manifest file sudo vi pc deploy dot yml presenter and paste it here. Save this file and apply this file kubectl uh, apply hyphen here and the file name presenter and see it's created means the deployment that app the name is pc deployment i have mentioned the metadata section the deployment uh, object name is pc deployment that's why it's uh, uh, it has uh, written uh, pc deployment created right 
if you want to uh, see the uh, number of ports is running how much uh, number of ports is running uh, then the uh, command is kubectl uh, get ports Yes, and uh, here is a here is a two number of forces running because uh, I have mentioned here the replicas is two that's why it's two forces running if you want to describe our object deployment object then the command is kubectl describe deploy and the and the object name means the deployment object name paste it here present cube city so I have some mistake cube city see you can see the all the details in this command like the name the object name is pc deployment and the namespace is default namespace name and the namespace is the default and uh, uh, the image is ubuntu your levels is uh, name equals to pc ubuntu and command is bin best command is running here and the command is bin best command okay okay then check the log of the one of the four what is running inside the four so uh qctl get course presenter take uh, one of the four i am taking this four and checking the log q ctl sorry q ctl log hyphen a and the port name presenter you can see inside this port power cloud is running right and Control C, press Control C, come out, and we are going to demonstrate uh, uh, the actual rollback. For that, I will do some modification in the manifest file. So, do some modification inside the manifest file. Sudo vi pc deployment that yml. I am doing some modification and. <laughs> again apply it suppose i am editing this one and i am writing pc and save this file and one second apply this file q uh, ctl apply apply hyphen f and the file name press enter it will show configure so let's check the code get cube ctl get course okay you can see this code are this code is running this is uh, look see the uh, status is running and uh, this port is also running but the old ports are terminated right this old ports are terminated let's check the log of the one of the port i am copying this one and checking the uh, log kubectl log hyphen f and the port name press enter you can see is uh, inside running pc right 
and I'm come out from it and I want to and I want to roll back to our previous version means the uh, previous uh, four uh, means uh, whatever inside the previous code is running it will show uh, the uh, can it will show the content means the uh, previously you, you we have uh, run a command like uh, pc cloud and uh, this time it's uh, run only pc so when we will uh, roll back and uh, we will see the in the log and the log will show us the pc cloud let's do the demo so the for the roll back the command is q ctl roll out space undo space deploy slash and the name of the object where is the name of the object this is the this is the name of our object i am copying this one copy and paste it here then space hyphen hyphen to revision equals to one press enter see the deployment that app pc deployment rolled back means here i am writing the one means it's one version rolled back if you have like this uh, version one and version two and version three uh, if you have uh, uh, if you have currently in version three and uh, we want to roll back to version one then in the uh, revision and in the revision we have to mention equals to two revision equals to two revision equals to two right suppose in this replica set we have two port right this is uh, p1 and this is uh, p2 mm -hmm. and uh, when we uh, modify and uh, uh, create and create a new deployment uh, and again the new replica sets uh, will create it this is also have the two code right code one and code two and uh, uh, some reason we have uh, scale of the port and create a new port that is uh, port three when we uh, when we will uh, roll back to version two to version one then this then the number of four will same in the version 2 the number of 4 is same in the version 1 means here also one new port is created right port 3 is created this is the concept of rollback get ports see these two ports are running and uh, uh, if you see this uh, uh, port uh, id it will different right let's see uh, here the port. here the port uh, id is wkbjk right let's see whether wk see there is no wk right means when you will roll back again the new port will create it right i am taking this port name and check the log qctl logs hyphen f and the port name president c previously means the when we deploy first time our uh, command is power cloud and again we will modify and again we have uh, modified it to only pc then we we have a rollout to our previous version means the version one then we will we are uh, seeing this the power cloud is 
the power cloud command is running so that's warm up to this video if you find it's uh, helpful give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you